Okay, I'm going to explain a little bit here about this uh, this magnetic switch and how it works and how you wire it up. When you get this, it does not come with instructions. So unless you know what you're doing, you're not going to have a clue what to do with this. Uh, these are spade connections in the back. They're male, so the connectors you will need to get will need to be female. They, like I have crimped on here, they do not need to be 90 degree. I just happen to have a bunch of them, so decided to use that to connect this. The bottom two are your line in. So you've got L1 and L2, or to make it very simple, black and white. The two upper ones are your, your outgoing. And you need to follow suit. Don't put your black and white over here because that's a dead short. So you want L1 here, L2 there, or black and white. Do the same thing on your load going out to your motor, or in this case my starter. And I call it, we in the trade call this T, but that is the load. So you got T1 and T2, or black and white. So if you have black here coming in, you want black there going out. White coming in here, white there going out. Uh, another thing, this does not come with a box. It does not come with mounting screws. It's just uh, this switch in a bag. And there is a little diagram on here, on the side right here. And if you're able to read the uh, European nomenclature, I am very familiar with it. It will explain everything that's going on here. But if you don't know how to read the uh, European IEC standard and you're used to NEMA or you don't understand the stuff at all, this isn't going to make any sense to you. So just remember, as a switch is upright like this, and you turn it around to the back, your line comes in the bottom. That is your line cord that you plug into the wall. Black, white. This is going out to your motor or your load. Black, white. You hook it up any other way, it's not going to work. It's got to be this way. And of course, this is, uh, you got some weird colors going on here. This is a piece of control cable. And my control circuit here, because I'm using a magnetic starter in conjunction with this, is fused at 1 amp. So this can be light gauge wire. This is a 16 gauge wire here. But here I'm using L1. And my red here I'm using for L2. This is black, red, blue, orange. So there's my L2. And you want to make sure these fit good and tight. If you can just slip them on, you got something going on that's wrong. All right, so T1, I'm using a blue here for that. That goes right above your L1. And T2 which I'm using orange for that, but you would be using white probably, goes above your L2. That's all there is to it. And of course there is a ground in here and it's already bonded to the bottom. Then you just uh, put everything in here and put some screws in it. 